What is going on, Iguana Man gang? Today, we are out here looking for a godfather iguana. These iguanas are the top breeders and can make thousands of offspring. We're shooting out here because there's cars, there's other residents, there's a lot of people out here, and I don't want to have a gun. Even though it is legal, I wouldn't want the cops to show up and give me a hard time. The bigger the iguana, typically it's a lot smarter, all right? At this point, they're really strong, really fast, great swimmers, great climbers. So the more reach we have, the better. Let's go see what's up, if we can get on one. Gosh. Whoa. There's one, two, three, four iguanas climbing up that tree single file. That's insane. Today is an extremely windy, cloudy day, and the iguanas are very skittish. This is true swamp out here. Iguana swamp. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I think we found the mother load. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Iguanas have eaten every single leaf off this tree. We on. So I just want to show you guys, for the amount of guanas that we've seen over here on this day, we were only able to catch one so far. That's a really low percentage for me. That's like seeing 40 of them and catching one. So that's basically about a 2.5% success rate. Every time you go hunting or fishing, nothing is guaranteed. Some days are better than others, so you got to be really thankful for everything that you get. So I'm not going to complain. This is a nice female iguana. You can see right by the vent, it has small femoral pores. These iguanas are always evolving colors, sizes, jowls, and alphaness. So since we got this iguana in hand, we're gonna go ahead, bag them, and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can go catch another. Oh my gosh, they're like nesting in this material right here. Really tough, we gotta try to get an angle. It's like, thre it's like threading a needle. It's real precise work. Just the right amount of skill and patience. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It's got like a forest green on the outside of it with hints of brown and purple. And then on the, the bottom side is really remarkable. It's almost like, like, I don't even know what color that is right there. It's a very light creamy green so nice and this iguana is actually hissing hold up this is crazy look at this that is crazy now guys i want you guys to comment down below why do reptiles shed their skin oh dang he's got really sharp claws Grab the iguana by the back leg like that, contain it, and you should be good to go. You guys at home to guess in the comments down below, is this iguana a male or is it a female? Oh, shoot. oh my gosh. Now I don't know if this is another subspecies of green iguana, but over here in South Florida, we call these leopard iguanas. A couple of different reasons why. They don't grow as big as the alphas or the typical greens. They stay this small leopard size. See, it has these leopard spots going along the whole entire midsection. If you have any more information on this phenomenon, drop some comments, let everybody know what the deal is. But guys, our third iguana is this beautiful green leopard. Look at this. Look at this. This is insane. Look at all those iguanas going up that tree. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh Biggest iguana of the day. Let's get up under this tree. We don't want any iguanas 
jumping on our heads uh, can result in a serious injury or even death. This is what I want to show you guys, all this iguana poop. And what's really cool about this iguana is his underbelly. And he is actually shedding. I don't know how often the iguana shed, but they do. Look at this right here. And so far we've gotten four off the property, including this giant one. Not bad for a cloudy, rainy day. Had bag him and tag him. And let's see if we can get another one. He's bobbing his head at us. He just looks really old. Ooh. I think this might be the Godfather. Dang, he's going by the water. We really want to get this Godfather iguana. I can just see the wisdom and the age on his face. Father, do not go in the water, dude. I think we got the Godfather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh, look at those head shakes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, going in that water. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. He's all in the sludge. Oh, he's trying to go deep. Oh, yeah. We got the Godfather Iguana. To give you guys a close up of the Godfather Iguana. And I hand selected to catch this one to finish off the hunt. Just because this looks like a very, very old Iguana. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but he has this white cap on his head. A lot of people say a lot of the older Iguanas have that. That's just from being mature. Also, you guys can see his spikes right here are pretty long. They're about two and a half inches long. This is a very mature male, and this thing can breed with up to 20, 30, 40 different females and spread his seeds to make the new next generation of iguanas. This is a really good iguana to get off this property. He's been around the block for a while. You can tell he's definitely one of the top breeders. All right, a lot of you guys have some really cool iguana hunting locations over here in South Florida. What I want you to do is go ahead and put that in the comments down below. If it's somewhere close to me, I'll go ahead. And if you want, I could probably even meet you out there. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe with the bell notification on so you don't miss any iguana activity. Guys, it's the Iguana Man signing out. So until next time, guys, just keep on catching.